Hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. And you can all thank Corey for the fact that I am on right now. Okay, so we are going to be playing with a lots of cheer stamp set. We're going to be doing lots of cheering because you're going to have to be waiting. So, I can't show you the card. Just a sec. This is... Um, this is one of the Christmas stamp sets from the holiday catalog. Or sorry, from the occasions. Oh my gosh, talk much? It's one of the Christmas stamp sets from our current annual catalog. So if you're a general customer, you can't order from the holiday catalog yet, but I know some people love to get going on their Christmas card making. Corey, thank you so much. I was outside and I went, <gasps> and I did the crazy person run. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, we're literally gonna assemble a card start to finish. I have nothing prepped, like literally not a thing. Um, and we're gonna create this one. Now this one is actually, I did not design this. This one is a case. So this is a card and I, her name is Marcy Denning and Marcy is a demonstrator in Strathroy, Ontario. Woo woo! Um, and she's a Canadian. So we're gonna play with this one today and I loved her card, I got it. I got it on the cruise. So I am jacked. Now we have got, hello peeps. We have got a old, an old olive card base. Um, you're gonna hear me doing a lot of jogging back and forth. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna keep my paper trimmer next to me because I think that's gonna be our best way for me to not disappear. I know you did not miss me, Catherine. I missed myself. I was totally hanging with family outside. It was my daddy's 73rd birthday yesterday, so we've had a lot of company here. So we are going to play, and I just got lost in time. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is we need, we're gonna get a piece of Whisper White, so we're kind of set to go. Hang on. And, oh, I can get out. Okay, so the first piece of Whisper White is actually gonna be used as a mat on the card. Hello, people. Hi, Ash. So as I said, for those of you who are joining me, this is not my card. This is a stunning case, okay? So I'm getting a piece that is five and a quarter by four, and it's gonna head right onto my card front, okay? So card front is four and a quarter inches by five and a half. I like to jump down and do a quarter inch less in each one of my measurements. The next one we're gonna use is a bit of a uh, pretty peacock. So now because this one was four by five and a quarter, this one I am going to do to five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Happy B day, daddy -o. I know 73. Me too, it was your birthday? Hang on, so, oh, someone was saying me too to like checking on me and going, where are you? Well, seriously, thank Corey because it's a good thing Corey was on the ball because I was not. I was actually downstairs prepping potatoes for supper. Corey's like, uh, it's 5.04. Anyway, okay, and the exciting thing is, is I've been wanting to create this card since I got it, but I didn't have the stamp set, and it just arrived. So, here we go. We're actually, you can see me start to finish on this. You ready? So what I'm doing right now, if you don't have any of the new cling stamps, you simply go on here, you can see all the stamps have these little backings. Foop, foop, peel them off. Make that noise, it'll help. Take your stamp, peel the backing off your stamp, and then you're gonna take this. Now, I do want you to be careful when you do this part, because once it's down, it is down peaks. It is not coming back up. So be, whoop, I just bumped the camera with my head, sorry. Be careful, okay? So we have got, hi, Kale, hi, Kathy. So we've got that one all set up. He's on his sticker. So we're gonna take this dude, and we're gonna stick him, and we are going to grab a little bit of memento ink. We're gonna ink this guy up. It's funny, I never use memento ink going downward unless it's just, like I always have to put my stamp down and tap on top of it. I don't feel a stay. I know, Corey's back to keeping us in line. Woo woo! I know, it was super funny. I've never done that in like, and I panicked. And my brother's like, just tell everyone you're not coming on today. I'm like, dude, I haven't missed a Wednesday in like two years. We're not missing. Okay, so we're gonna stamp that one on, just like that. Beautiful, love it. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to grab uh, a sentiment stamp. So this one, I don't know what it says, who knows? We'll know once we get the piece off. It's, I think it says, may your Christmas be wrapped up in holiday spirit. Corey, you need to give them an update because they're gonna be wondering how you were. Okay, and I'm doing this anyway, so we're all good, yap away. Okay, so we're gonna stick that one down. Now, can I show you one? Oops, don't do that, what did I do? 
I just stuck it on the backing. <laughs> okay, don't rush, people. Pay attention to what you're doing. You can get it up when you stick it on the backing. There. Um, this is, if you have never seen this before, one thing I do do, hi, Teddy Madden, check this out. So we've got quite like a thick font. And I find that the first time that I use a stamp like this, my ink might not kind of cling to it very well. So I just have an old white sanding block and I just run it over the stamp. We can't miss a Wednesday. I know. Okay, next job. I'm gonna grab this. And this one we are going to use my Pretty Pico Coralio ink. Okay, so if you're joining me late, not a card I created. This is a card by the very talented Marcy Denning, and I loved it. It was a swap that I got, so we are recreating right now. So like I was saying, this one's in the annual catalog. So if you're looking for, that's my husband on the dirt bike, sorry. If you are looking for, uh, oh, it's okay, sweetheart, a Christmas stamp set to kind of get you going right now, this is the one you want. Okay, <gasps> look at that, isn't it beautiful? Okay, oh good, what up junk? Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to grab some of my, um, what are those things called? Blends. So we're gonna grab Old Olive, like that card base. We are going to grab uh, my Pretty Peacock. We are going to grab a little bit of Smoky Slate. Thump, thump. And then I think I'm gonna grab some orange for the nose. Where's my orange? There it is. Okay, well we can do his nose, easy. You ready? We're just gonna come in and we're gonna go like this. Foop, foop. I was trying to convince my brother to do my Facebook Live with me today, but he was leaving. Ah, oh, there's Darlene. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna move this up so I stay in your screen. Hello, Sean Griggs and hello, hi Denise. Okay, so as I said before with these, start with your dark. I'm gonna do like half of his hat. I love that this snowman, he's like built out of presents. He's so cute. Okay, we got that. And then we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna do the other half. So as I said, fill it in, peeps. Don't worry about anything here. Get them blended together first, or like, you know, colored first. Now just go back in, stay away from your edges. You don't want that extra ink to bleed out over your lines. And just work them together, see? Now we've got that cute little shadow. You were late. Okay, so you guys, Peter's watching from outside, which means he's with my mom and my aunt, and they're all downstairs making fun of me. So hi, you guys, and thanks so much. Okay, next one. We're gonna grab uh, Old Olive, and I'm gonna use my darker marker. Say that 10 times fast. Darker marker, people, go. We're gonna use the darker marker, and we're gonna come in just like this. I'm not joking, I think I actually, Marcy Denning, if you get a chance to see this video, you caused me to buy this stamp set. I thought I could do without it until I saw her card and it was so cute. Okay, so come in here. I'm just gonna give it just a little bit in a few places, just like that. Now, be careful near the edges. Are you guys heading up to the cabin at all? <laughs> I am up here, dude. You're so cute. Are you heading up to the cabin? I haven't been home since school ended. Okay, so we're going here. Over top of your two lines, right? Go light against the edge. Don't get crazy. Get that colored in and we'll blend it in a sec. Poop poop. Marcy Denning. It was Marcy. Did I say something funny? I hope I said Marcy Denning. Did I call her a weird name? I knew I made sure that I read her card before I went live because I love this card. Okay. And this is perfect. So you guys, I don't know if you've ever like, well, many people have. They're like, I don't want to be a demonstrator. I can't do what you do. I can't create cards. I don't always create cards. Sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, so-and-so did an amazing card. I am going to copy it. And that is a fantabulous idea. There's nothing wrong with casing cards. Okay, so we got that in. Now, next thing I'm gonna do. Oh, you were trying to tag her. Oh, good. Thank you, Ashley. She's gonna laugh at me. She's gonna be like, seriously, Ange, create your own cards. But I, it's hers. I didn't create it. I just loved it. We're gonna do that. And so then all she did here it was kind of genius. She just took her blends markers and she went through and she just did a little bit of color color on all these there we go just a sec go through like this go through like this 
Um, and then I'm gonna come over and do the same thing just on the other side of his scarf. So I'm not, notice I'm not doing any blending with this piece. I am strictly sticking to my darker old olive marker. And then I'll go in here and we'll just add a little bit. Like that. Okay, next we're gonna go back in with the pretty peacock. Casing is totally necessary, lots of times. Now, I'm gonna to stick to my darker pretty peacock here just because I use the darker old olive. I'm not gonna worry about blending here. I'll do a bit of blending on that next bow, okay? Mm -mm, da -da, color it in. Boop, boop, color, color. Color, color. There we go. Hang on, I can't talk and breathe and color and lean forward at the same time. So give me two seconds. I don't want, I can't look up because if I look up right now, I'm in too small of a space and I will go outside the lines. We know it is inevitable. There we go. And I don't want to color the corner of that box. Okay. There we go. So we've got that done. Okay. Hello, Sally. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to do the bow, but the bow, I am going to do a little bit of blending. I'm going to put that darker, just, you know, in the shadow of the bow where you can see where it kind of comes in behind and then I'll put a little bit kind of on some of the edges. I'm not going to get crazy because it's a tight space and I don't want to have to do a ton of blending while I'm doing it. I need it just to work through. Okay. Okay, so we're lighter. I mean, you can see the difference here. I love this. I don't, I, I don't, it's not that I don't recommend it. I don't, if you're gonna bother to get blends, you guys get both shades, get your dark and your light because it's insane what you can create once you've got those two colors. Okay, so you can see what I've done. Now I'm just going in and I'm staying away from the lines because I don't want those to bleed. You always miss the beginning. Is it hot up there? It's 25, feels like 30 here. You know, it wasn't core this morning. It wasn't bad. Like it was, I mean, it was warm. And then it's funny this afternoon, the temperature's kind of gone whoop. It's gotten warm, warm. Okay, let's finish these up. Ta -da. Okay, love it. That part was nice and easy. So did I do everything I needed to? Yes, that was what her beautiful little snowman looked like. Hello, Debbie. As I said, I am sharing a card that I cased from the very talented Marcy Denning. Okay, so our next job is we're actually going to take this super cute. Oh, I just showed you the card. I didn't mean to. Don't go back and share. Don't go back and look at your screen. It's supposed to be a surprise. I don't like showing you the card at the beginning. It really bothers me. Okay, so we're going to come in here. And this one, I think that looks ish what hers looks like. Uh, maybe hers is a bit tighter. Okay, so here, we're going to take off a little bit more. Hi, Glenda. Glenda, did you get this swap card? It was Marcy Dennings, and I loved it, so I'm casing it. We are doing it live today. There we go. Two and three-eighths. Love it. That works for me. Two and three-eighths. I think I'm going to make it a bit tighter on him, just so. Okay, two and three-eighths by, we're going to go four and an eighth. Okay, that's what that is, in case you're wondering. Two and three eighths by four and an eighth. I know, not a traditional Christmas one, but super cute. Okay, two and three eighths by four and an eighth. So, what you do here, instead of doing two and three eighths, we're gonna go two and a half. And instead of doing four and an eighth, we're gonna go four and a quarter, okay? And yes, I am using my old guillotine cutter. Oh, I would have loved to have you at one of them, Sally. I know New York is a bit, it is a bit far of a travel, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I want a hair more off the right hand side. Da, da. Did we get it? We did, okay, beautiful. Now, we're not done. So the next thing that Sally had done on her card, which I absolutely adored, was she went in and she grabbed, we're just gonna leave the stats up there because then you can see it. Uh, I have no garbage can. Why do I have no garbage can? Oh, there it is. We're gonna go into my embossing folders. And as I said, nothing was ready to show you because I was making or cutting potatoes and outside socializing with my family like a disaster. Okay, so we're scrolling through here. We're seeing, scrolling. This is like, you know, being on your computer. Don't tell me that I don't have that embossing folder. I don't? How do I not have that embossing folder? I don't have the embossing folder that she used. How do I not have it? Is it at home? Where did I put it? I have that one. Maybe I didn't bring it. Did I not bring an embossing folder? Okay, hang on, that's weird. Just a second, we're checking one thing. Okay, so it's not in that one. 
But I could have it in my, do I have more in here? I don't, how did I miss that one? It must be at home. Okay, so we'll pick a new one. Let's pick an embossing folder for a Christmas card. So she used the one that we have, it's called, I don't know, what's it called, like Swirls and, somebody tell me the name of that one. You know which one it is, it's in the big annual catalog. It's Swirls and something. Let's go, I'm sneaking into my new stuff, I'm being super duper tricky. Let's see if I have any new embossing folders that we could use Bye, instead. Girl. Bye little brother, I love you. Okay, we're gonna use this one. We're gonna go with the hammered metal. It's kind of funky. Do I travel to my cabin with a 510 moving that? I don't. I have like three Rubbermaid boxes. Thanks, Ash, it's Swirls and Curls. I do own Swirls and Curls, but apparently I did not pack that one when I came up, which is really odd. I usually pack all my embossing folders. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, so we're gonna use hammered. So this one, <laughs> we're gonna get hammered, people. So this one is super fun. It's coming up in the next, in our holiday catalog that's coming out. Now this is one of our new thicker ones. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna grab our little blue embossing, embossing plate, swirls and curls, and we're going to take this it can kind of look like crackly ice, yes? Can we go with that? We're going for the crackled ice look in the background. Put you in, squish you up, ta-da. Slap your little blue plate on and crank it through, peeps. Hi, Jewel, how are you? Check this out. How killer is that embossing folder? Like, love, 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 love. Okay, so let's put this back. We are almost ready to assemble. So we have got our bits, got our bits. Now I'm gonna grab one last thing. I have a gorgeous ribbon. Please tell me I have it here. Please tell me I have it here. Please tell me I, I do. Oh, good. I got a little bit nervous there for a sec. We have this gorgeous ribbon. Check this one out. So I love this one. This one is called a reversible ribbon. And so we have got like more of a old olive on one side and then we've got the pretty peacock on the other. Okay, so you kind of got both. Yes, peeps? Oh, there's Eileen. Okay, so next thing we need is we need some snail and some dimensionals and I know I have glue dots in the drawer below me. So we're gonna start with this one and I am going to toot. Make the noises when you put your snail on. It's very helpful. Okay, so as I said, if you don't have a Christmas stamp set yet and you are raring to get going on your Christmas stuff, then this one is amazing. Okay, now I don't like that. That's gonna drive me nuts. Can you see that I've got a little bit more white on the bottom? So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut that hair off. Ta -da. Done. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that super cute little snowman. We're gonna snail him up and we are going to adhere it to, hang on, right to there. Now this one, I can't stick on flat. I mean, you could, but I have issues and I need things popped up. So I'm gonna take it easy. We're not gonna make this card too thick. We're gonna take this and we're going to stick it down on our old olive layer. Ta -ta. And then we're gonna take dimensionals here because I need to pop things up. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and then because nobody likes a uh, saggy middle, especially not me, tell that to my 45 year old, 44 year old buddy. We're gonna take this and we are going to stick it right on the middle, so done. And then we're going to grab. Okay, so what Marcy did on this, and I love this. Um, now I could use, just a second, where's my bow maker? I have a bow maker here, I feel like I do. There it is. Okay, we're gonna take my bow maker. We're gonna move our cute little card up. And we're gonna take that bow maker. It's nice to see Chris. I know and it's Christmas stuff, Paulette, from the annual catalog. You don't even have to get crazy. So with my bow maker, I'm gonna go like this, go like this, go like this. And with a bow maker, it's a bit easier to keep um, the same color showing, which is what I was kind of wanting. So I want my bow to be all the blue. Hello there, temporary job is playing havoc. I know, seriously, Donna. Like what is with having to work? Dress. Yeah, well, apparently family play wreaks havoc with me remembering what day of the week it is. 
<clears throat> okay, so we've got that. And then all she did, and I love that, and I might have to put it up here on mine. I'm gonna put it up here because she, um, Marcy had hers down low, but because of the way I kind of tied it and centered my stuff, it's gonna overtake. So I'm actually gonna take my little bow and we're gonna pop it up top. And all I'm gonna do for this one, team, is we're gonna use, I'm actually gonna use two because I really wanna make sure it stays down. So we're gonna put them side by side, take your little backings off, toss them on the floor, tell your children to vacuum them, vacuum them up. And we're gonna make sure that that is, whoops, I just did that with my hand. Don't do that, I hate that. Chop, center that. Are we good? Does that look reasonable? What do you think? Hello, hi Darla. And I'm not even creating an original today. I am casing. Love this one. And I'll show you her card in one sec. So as I said, this card was created by Marcy Denning and she did such a beautiful job and it was a card I got from my um, cruise. And I, she inspired me to buy the stamp set. So sometimes that's all it takes for me is that one card. Just a second, I'll pull Marcy's out. There you go. So you can see it here. Check it out with the swirls and curls, which I love because it kind of made it look like a snowstorm in the background. But when you don't have it, you make do. And so I went with my hammered one in the background, kind of give us a little ice look in the background. Okay, people, thank you so much for joining me. Remember, like I said, this one, lots of cheer is number 149503. It's in the annual catalog, okay? Lots of cheer. Uh, head to shop with NorthShoreStamper.com if you're in Canada and make sure to use that hostess code. And I will send you out for any order over 25, you get a PDF of five little card projects. If it's over 60, guess what? You guys get to, uh, you get the PDF, but you also get a make and take pack to make those cards. Thank you so much to, oh, look at, that's what I do. I know, but that's the fun part about making cards is you're just seeing someone do it once. Thank you so much for joining me. And I think I will be back tomorrow with Paper Pumpkin if it arrives on time. Have an awesome evening. Bye.